a young child can't use a screen as creatively and productively as a teenager, and they can't transfer their learning from a digital medium to real life as a teenager can. So the upsides of tech aren't as relevant to a young child. And maybe a teenager is ready to handle their phone, whereas a young child just absolutely is not. So we need to be very thoughtful about how we introduce tech to young children with their developmental needs and safety front and center. At this age, this means encouraging families to allow screen time only in a common area, supervised by a caregiver, or on a device that's been set up or stripped down for a child. Ideally, a caregiver has picked out a few shows or games that are age appropriate because screen time is such an inferior use of time for a young child. Its use needs to be very limited or you're depriving the brain of using all five of its senses and developing properly. At this age, your child's brain is developing what's called sensorium. So for example, you know, we're building those self-regulation skills, empathy, the verbal literacy, those fine and gross, gross motor skills. And tech doesn't develop sensorium. In fact, actually too much tech harms it. We can intentionally provide bumpers for our kids while navigating the tech space in a way that feels good to both parents and children. We have to be very deliberate and intentional about how we introduce and use tech, or unfortunately, it takes over. The thing I encourage the most at this age group is simply less is more. Having fewer devices available and less content to manage is both easier for the parent and better for the child. Secondly, we advocate for leaning in and teaching kids how to use tech safely, responsibly, and in balance. So alongside setting boundaries, it's equally crucial to teach and coach our children in developing good habits, critical thinking, and reflection when it comes to their tech use. The goal is to contain screen time so it doesn't overstep and prevent all the other important activities of childhood. One strategy here is to think of screen time like you would dessert. You're not going to have zero desserts in your child's life, but you don't want dessert to regularly be your main course, and you certainly want to meet your child's basic nutritional needs. So just as you teach your child how to eat healthy, you also want to teach them how to have a digital, a healthy digital diet. By doing so, we safeguard their emotional development and equip them with the necessary skills to navigate the digital landscape responsibly. I'm seeing the impact of imbalanced and imbalanced amount of screen use and device use later on in adolescence. I have middle school and high school age kids who have perpetually reported their exposure to graphic content as young children and some have reported wishing they had more safeguards early on. So that's really telling. Digital media is having a profound effect on the way kids grow up and it's imperative that we do something about it. 